What's up guys, it's doing the guy here. Today is gonna be my first time attempting to play Beam NG in VR. Now, I will lie. It's not my first time, but that is because the first time I played it, honestly, I kind of hated it. But I adjusted some settings. And I didn't get to play it, but I got it to where it was a somewhat playable VR. This is the profile I'm using. The FE copy. Alright. Now, to, to launch it, once you're in your VR, just open up BeamNG Drive, and Vorpex should automatically connect it. Now, I will see a little bit different than you guys, because I'm not going to have the um, actual rendering of what I see on the screen as well, because this, this um, when you do it in Geometry 3D, really sucks your performance. But basically what I'm going to be seeing is the actual game in 3D. It does feel three-dimensional, and I'll be able to move my head around. I, it's not that kind of vortex where you have to um, look into an immersive screen. This is actually full VR vortex, which I figured out how to get it somewhat playable, but it might still annoy a lot of people. So, you guys will just be seeing my little screen here. Now, I am on a 3060 Ti, but I am lowering my settings actually quite a bit because um, this is definitely going to be sucking your um, settings quite a bit. Okay, guys, so the FPS is terrible right now because right now the main problem with the Vorpex is um, the performance is not good right now. But this feels so weird. The FPS is quite low. But, I mean, the depth perception is kind of nice. Gra I'm going to try turning up my anti aliasing because my graphics are so bad right now. Looking back, that was probably not a good choice because my game was frozen for a long time after that. I've got a full screen yet. So basically, it brings the whole screen to you. There's a little strange feeling, but... It, I mean, it is fully working VR. The problem is... Frame rates are terrible right now. And, um... The head movement is really off. Like, I'm not moving my head that... Like, when I move my head out to the side, it, like... Expands the amount of actually moving it. So the head wound feels off, but it does actually surprisingly feel three dimensional, fully three dimensional, and it does feel pretty immersive. But the graphics, the performance, the main, my main gripe is the performance, and the head movement is just so bad. Let's try crashing in VR, see how that feels. We're just gonna tap this guy. This feels actually really realistic though, I'll really be honest with you. Like this? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's actually cool. This feels... I mean, this is cool feeling. But... FPS is so bad, it's hard to catch slides. 
Dude, they should totally officially support this. This would be so cool. Oh my god. It's so... Running so bad, it's hard to make quick decisions, you know? Alright, let's hop in a drift car. You can see the pedals moving, and the shifter actually moves. That makes it way more immersive in VR. Dude, this is gonna be impossible to drift with this performance. Yep, it's impossible. I'm not even bad at drifting. Also, this is amplified a ton. The movement, the head movements are not, they don't feel natural. The graphics and performance are terrible, even on a, I would say pretty good PC. Now this might, he had a 4090 and a Threadripper CPU. It might be fine. I would honestly consider getting him. I mean, this is fine. As long as you don't move your head in any weird ways besides just pivoting, this is enough to have fun. I can't really see my mirror right now. I don't have this in the activated to save the performance. I'm running like 30 FPS right now. Out there I try to air drift. Let's see. I wonder if you know. now it feels fine it's the traffic this must be a cpu heavy mod no i just oh my god if you increase your fov it really fucks with the game this is nauseating oh i can't i will end it here so yeah beam and gvr oh my god i can't i'm taking off that zip beam and gvr is definitely a cool gimmick not at all worth 40 bucks. I would pay 5 just to try it, honestly. But 40 not worth it. If they do officially support it, I would pay, though. See you in the next one. Bye.